All right, Steve, let's head to Knoxville. We got to talk Tennessee recruiting where the Volunteers beat Alabama 24-17 and Nealon was absolutely electric on Saturday night. Steve, you've been talking to a lot of recruits that were in the stadium for that one. What's the what's the current reaction? Well, I think you start with Isaiah Campbell, the number four defensive lineman in the country, number 32 player overall in the on three player rankings. He took his official visit to Tennessee over the weekend, got home late Sunday night. Saturday was an opportunity to take in game day uh, festivities, uh, really enjoyed the atmosphere of Neyland. Look, those goalposts came down, fans rushed the field, goalposts were pulled out again. There was a heavy cloud of cigar smoke over the city of Knoxville as Tennessee beat Alabama for the second time at home in a row and Isaiah Campbell and his family are sitting there watching a defensive slugfest on the field they see the player development along the front of Tennessee's defense how dominant those guys were they point to Rodney Garner for that they're like look you got you got to have great athletes to play at that level but you also got to be developed and prepared Tennessee's defensive line is among the best in the country. They salute Rodney Garner for that. And they talk, and Isaiah got a chance to talk to Tennessee's players about what it's like to play for Rodney Garner. And they love that experience. He's tough on them, but he's getting the best out of them. And that's an environment and position room he could see himself in. And certainly he would maintain the standard to play. We're getting accustomed to seeing at the point of attack for Tennessee moving forward. He got to see more of the campus. He had been to a game day before, but they got to talk to so many of the support people at Tennessee this weekend uh, to see what helps Tennessee players be successful off the field. Again, time spent with the players was awesome. I love my on three RPM in favor of Tennessee that I put in before the visit. He's going to take an official visit to North Carolina next month in November. North Carolina is normally pretty tough to beat for coveted in-state talents, but I think they got a rally here if they're going to keep Isaiah Campbell home. He still communicates with Clemson, former Clemson commit. You have Notre Dame, USC trying to get involved, but I think it's Tennessee still setting the pace for this prize defensive lineman, Josh. It was a big weekend for 2026 too, man. You know, obviously they went out there and landed a commitment from Brandon Anderson, a Peach State offensive tackle that visited two weekends in a row. Uh, some guys that they're at the top or near the top of the list for, when you look at this updated on three player rankings you got rodney dunham he's the number 19 player overall uh, he's a standout baseball and football player that said this was one of his best experiences talked about the culture they're building at tennessee so i'm keeping a close eye on the balls there moving forward caden hall is the number 24 overall prospect in the updated on three player rankings of safety from the Sunshine State. He loves the way Tim Banks has that secondary, making a lot of plays on the field. He thinks he could fit well in that scheme and loves the energy around the program. Tennessee's trending to flip top 100 linebacker Rodney Colton from South Carolina. He's been to the last two Tennessee games. And speaking of linebacker, Josh, that's still a need for the Vols in 2025. They had their commit Jaden Harmon back on campus. He's an absolute space eating second level defender, an explosive player that visited Alabama earlier in the year. Coming out of that Alabama visit, he told me he could flip back to the Crimson Tide. Coming out of this Tennessee visit, he's locked in with the Vols. Austin Howard's a four star, currently committed to Mississippi State. But he's trending towards Vanderbilt, depending on numbers shake out with Tennessee moving forward, how many more backers they take. I could definitely see him in Tennessee's class as well. Commits loved it. Top prospects loved it. This is how you get ahead in recruitments with juniors and sophomores. They did it two years ago when they beat Alabama. That was pivotal. They beat them again. It's going to have ramifications on the recruiting trail for years to come. All right, Tennessee fans, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to the Tennessee fans that were in Neyland Stadium on Saturday night. You heard what the recruits had to say. We want to hear from you. What was Neyland like to be in those stands on Saturday when the Vols beat Alabama? Let us know. Comment section below.